Yo, 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 yo! What's up guys? Me and Bodie here chilling at home and I kind of wanted to let you guys in on something I haven't really talked to you much about yet. So as most of you know, you've heard about YouTube cutting ad revenue uh, and just demolishing a lot of the hunting and fishing channels, you know, tobacco channels, anything that YouTube declares uh, not friendly for viewers. Now, a lot of you know that my content is extremely, extremely friendly for uh, viewers. You look good, bub. As most of you know, I do these videos for free. A lot of us YouTubers at the beginning do these videos for free. So when you guys go comment, like, subscribe, that helps, uh, helps me a ton. But what helps me directly keep making videos for you guys on, on you know a daily or everyday basis is buying ducks gear now with that being said uh, a lot of you have picked up this freedom lanyard and this uh, camo lanyard you're looking good bub and I truly appreciate that I, I I can't tell you guys enough how much I appreciate that because it directly goes to helping me keep the channel going and providing how to's and tips and entertaining content for you guys but I got my little model here and the camo lanyard. I don't know if I've shown you guys that one yet. Oh, hi, bubs. The freedom lanyard and the money lanyard, which I'm not, I don't have on right now. We only have 10 of each of those. So 10 of the white, or sorry, 10 of the money, 10 of the freedom, and 10 of the camo lanyards is all we have left. So go pick you one up now. Hey, hey, hey. Bodie's all mad because he's not gonna be in the video anymore, so. Better go outside here. These, uh, these Freedom Lanyards, boy, they sold out in like four days. So they are back in stock. I'm pretty sure we only have 10 or 20 of these things left. So you better go copy one before they are gone yet again. Ah, yeah, that's some good Joe right there, son. This video was actually requested by one of you guys in a prior video. I went through and tried finding your name and I could not find the dang comment. I literally have had way more comments than usual on the videos and it has just buried this one. But one of you guys, one of you subscribers, uh, suggested doing this video, Weird Hunting Laws and Regulations. So that's what we're going to do today. I found some wild and wacky ones. Let's get into it. So I got most of my trusty notes yet again so I don't mess up and... Uh, rephrase something that pisses you guys off but first one is about deer hunting so in alaska virginia arizona and pennsylvania it is illegal to use real deer urine as an attractant they fear the spread of cwd which is chronic waste disease uh will spread i i guess i guess uh, deer don't normally piss in the woods so uh, you know, th this is this is the first one on the list, guys, and I'm, I'm telling you, these get wacky, weird, and just plain freaking stupid. Dumb, dumb, dumb laws. Moving on. Okay, so this one, this one baffles me. It really does. Sorry, I got to read from the notes just a little bit here. So some states uh, do not allow illuminated knocks. If you don't know what a knock is, it is the rear tip of your arrow, you know, when it comes to archery that slides on, it's the rear tip of your arrow that basically glows in the dark or is illuminated by a light. It is what slides on your string and holds your arrow to your string. What bothers me about states not allowing illuminated knocks uh, is because this product is an ethical product. Having an illuminated knock allows you to uh, view your shot placement on the deer a lot more accurately, you know, where your arrow actually hits the deer. And then that, as a hunter, that allows you to judge where you hit it and how far it might be, you know, it might run before it goes down. A lot of, a lot of ethical, uh, you know, things about having illuminated knocks. Not only that, but it helps you find, say, say the arrow stays in the deer, it helps you find your down deer in, in the dark when you're out uh, trying to find it in the dark, you know, following a blood trail or whatever. So I don't, I do not uh, agree with this, I think. Uh, the knock was created uh, to help find deer, to help, and to help judge shot placement on deer. So 
Another dumb, dumb, dumb law. Okay, I know some of these laws and regulations are probably old, so if these are outdated and you guys know about it, drop it in the comments and let me know and be like, hey man, they changed that one a long, long time ago. But either way, they are entertaining. Now this one, seriously, is one of the worst. I think this is one of the weirdest, the dumbest laws in the book, and I hope to God they've changed this by now, but I bet not. So, 11 states still ban hunting on frickin' Sundays. Now guys, the alcohol sales on Sundays is one thing, I kinda understand that, but hunting? I mean, really? That, that limits the average 40-hour working man to one day a week, which would be Saturday, to get out, sit in his deer stand, or go shoot some ducks one day a week that only allows you because of somebody's re religious beliefs. Religious beliefs. Hunting has been around forever. You know, hunting, killing your food to feed your family, that has been around forever. All right, so this one is a little more widespread and affects more of you I know still today, and that is not being able to carry a sidearm, you know, like a pistol, uh, while hunting and especially while you know archery hunting they don't allow it now what bothers me about not being able to carry a sidearm on you you know if you're trekking in the woods going duck hunting or trekking in to go bear hunting or deer hunting anything is the simple fact that that is something that protects your well-being how many maulings have there been in just this last year to two you know bear maulings all type of different maulings from people being out hunting and not being able to protect themselves because they had a freaking bow in their hand and they couldn't shoot the dang thing. So what I do not agree with is that our government should allow us, our government, our wildlife, whoever regulates this crap, should allow us to protect our well-being at all times. Now that being said, if you pull out your pistol and shoot a freaking whitetail instead of shooting it with your bow and arrow, you should be going to jail and getting fined heavily. But if you pull that pistol out and you know take down a bear, shoot it in the face when it's getting ready to maul you, that should be your right. We're humans, they are animals. Peta, Peta can kiss my butt on this one because you know that's where this is mostly coming from. Uh, I just don't agree with it. We're humans, we should be able to protect ourselves. We are the highest on the food chain and we are far more important than any animal out there. But like I said, if you get caught shooting an animal with your pistol, you should be heavily fined for that, guys. I, I think you should be heavily fined. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. I think it's BS. People are actually dying out there getting uh, mauled by bears when they could actually pull out their pistol, pop it a few times, and scare it away. Uh, I mean, it could save lives. I, I don't understand what's wrong with that. Enough serious talk. This last one is a funny one. I stumbled across it and I honestly don't believe that it's true. It might be. You guys are going to have to let me know. So, in Nebraska, I read that it states it is illegal to shoot ducks from a donkey. Sitting on the back of a donkey, you cannot legally shoot ducks. Now, Flair, he's from Nebraska. Uh, Flair, do, do you know the answer to this one? You guys need to go over to Flair's channel go to his latest vid and ask, do you shoot ducks from a donkey? Let's, I'm not gonna tell him about this, let's, and give him a good old laugh. Guys, like I said, we only have 10 of these freedom lanyards left. They sold out literally in four days, so go copy one before they are gone yet again. And the camo lanyard. I still haven't showed you guys this one close up. This is the one my boy Bodie was just wearing, looking like a straight G. Go copy one before these suckers are gone again. And guys, I really want to uh, show you how much I appreciate your guys' input in these comments. Last video got over 200 comments when I asked you to please comment down below stating if you liked the magnet gun holder, you know, for the side of vehicles or for your safe. Two, over 200 comments, guys. I've never done that before. My audience, you guys are extremely interactive and I could not thank you enough. Enough. Truly guys from the bottom of my heart you guys are coming through you guys are showing your love and your support and seriously It freaking tickles me pink Also, we've put a few new designs up on the website as far as hats There are some new colors of mesh backing trucker hats. I know this is the one you've already seen 
but there are some new ones up there. Go check them out. And I wanted to let you guys know that the Kansas State Fair is this weekend for the next, you know, like two weeks here in Hutch in my hometown. I will be there. DM me on Instagram if you guys are there and if you guys want to meet up and uh, I can just, you know, shake your hand, say what's up. DM me on Instagram. I will keep my Instagram story updated when I am there, letting you know where I'm at in the fair. If you want to swing by, see your boy and say what's up. Thank you guys for watching. I can't thank you enough for your support. I kindly appreciate it. Have a good weekend, y'all. Peace.